Hi everyone, Lensmanoz and the girls here today. No Manx, he's decided uh, he wants a microphone. <laughs> he's decided he uh, has some other stuff to do today. Um, so, girls are here, say hello. Hi! Hello! So, this is Worldly Galaxies episode 18. Uh, I. You girls done anything in between? Nope. Nope, don't think so. Alright, I dug a basement. Cool. I really should turn back into a bat if I'm gonna jump off the roof. I have a guard that I want that I want hidden. Do you think I can put him in your basement? Um I suppose. Good luck getting him down the elevator. Anyway. Really? Who's Rick rolling me with a sign? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Are you doing more? <laughs> Shame, Marilla. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. So you can see here, I've dug some of the AE system out. You're terrible, Jay Marilla. Terrible. Um, so there's a bit of a hole here. Um, so down here, we have a nice big room, and I set up. Uh, my inscriber auto crafting and if I hold my wrench here you can see all the pipe work that's in the walls it's a fairly basic system the end result is down here there's filters on some of these Yoink. so this one will only take calculation circuits um, this one will only do whoops that's not what I wanted this one is your yeah, calculation engineering so, and and so on, logic, um, and silicon. I found that I can't cover this cable up, so I'm a little bit annoyed with with aesthetics at the moment. So I might move that um, conduit to around the side here, and then change the cable around a bit. But I'll do that in another at another time. So back here we've got I move the energy acceptor for the AE system down here with an advanced energy cube and the the flux point just so we got a bit of an energy backup in case I do run out of um, Yolorium in the reactor because it's actually not automated at all uh, I've got a cable running down from my controller which is up there and I've got four crafting units here uh, back here we've got an interface and in the interface we've got the patterns for making the encoded or so we got you know making the the, the circuits so circuits and processes uh, and then I've got it keeping 10 redstone and 32 silicon always in itself so that this one here oh, this one which will accept silicon it can pull one out anytime it needs to and push it up in here that's got 64 sitting in it and down the bottom uh, this will always have redstone and printed silicon pushed into it. Um, so when it when it asks to craft one of these, it puts the item it needs into this chest. Uh, this is set to auto extract, so it will push it into whichever one of these it needs to push it into. So this one's silicon, this one's gold ingot, for example, and uh, it'll do its thing. So fairly simple setup. Trying to make it nice and hidden. I know that's you can see that, so I may change the texture for these pillars. <sighs> Rick rolling. <laughs> How many more signs are there? About fifty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So that's that's the setup. I thought I'd remove it down here. We've got a signs everywhere uh, we've got a few things to, to do and I, I still need to tidy this up a bit more um, I've made a pattern terminal just so I could make the patterns down there um, what else let's see so on top of that I did where are we, in machinery I finished this one so that's the four 
4K crafting storages, which you saw in the wall downstairs. Uh, I've got eight interfaces there in here. I've got the two co-processing units, a crafting monitor, and a bunch of cable, which uh, I was using a fair bit. I mean, you, I've got a fair bit running through the base here anyway. So that quest is complete, and we'll get another pattern terminal and a chance cube as a reward. Nothing to write home about because not much I can do with the pattern terminal at the moment. So it can just go in here and be merry. Uh, so you can see in my inventory here I have the transmutation tablet. So the recommendation to make one uh, block and then put it in the table work great. I've got one here. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's intended, but when I did the crafting recipe, so if you remember from the last episode, it was the two iron and two diamonds in a square. Um, I put exactly nine ingots worth in the table and I shift clicked it and it gave me a stack of nine ingots and they weren't going to explode on me. So I'm not sure if that's intended and I've got a feeling it's because the server is currently on peaceful which for some reason it's now defaulting to when it boots up so long story short I've got this in here I guess a little bit cheaty but end results there I've got the transmutation tablet which is worth 8, eight million EMC so I'm gonna teach it to the, this year just in case anything ever happens but we now have a portable one of these which I believe has all the same items because it's linked to the player, not to the item. Which is cool. Means I can, if I ever need uh, some food, we can just grab it out. And the EMC amount is linked to the table as well. Uh, linked to the player, I mean. Um, the power flower up here is working quite nicely. We now have 47 dark matter. And I've been throwing the occasional thing in there because this will do items and, and sunlight. So that's a nice little bit of dark matter. I think there's a ton more over here. Yep. Uh, pretty large amount. And another sign... Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so that's another quest. What's wrong? Oh, I found another sign. Where? What, what else would be wrong? <laughs> Where? Over near the uh, energy condenser over here that dumps the quarry stuff. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> I'm going to find them everywhere, aren't I? Yes. Yep. Just uh, leave the signs out for us. Just, just when I least expect it, I will be rickrolled by a sign. You, you evil children, you. It's everyday life. Alright, next quest is Red Matter Armor. I don't think I've got what I require for this, but let's do this anyway. Dark Matter Helmet. Dark Matter Chest Plate. Whoops. Boots. And pants and we will teach this to our table here so there we go may as well learn them because they could be quite useful and then I'm gonna dump all of this in here and I'm gonna grab as much red banner as I can that will hopefully be enough uh, so I need the red matter helmet which you can see here is the regular helmet Surrounded by red matter. It's just a red matter helmet, and I'm guessing that the pants will be the same. Yep. Um, perhaps the boots will be similar, and then that probably goes there. Yep. Excellent. So there's the red matter setup. Let's teach it to the table as well because reasons. 
So that's a full set of red mana armor, and all we get for it is a chance cube. The next one is gem. Gem armor is the most OP non-blood magic set of armor in this entire mod pack. Gives you night vision, speed, and a lot of other helpful buffs. Nice. But it takes a ton of stuff, like a full, looks like Klein Star Amiga, uh, the Evertired Amulet, and a Soul Stone. So all of these things require red matter, which I don't have a ton of at the moment. So we're going to need to do a bit more, a bit more of this. So we're going to need at least what two, four. I'm guessing eight red matter. Just oh. wow! Watch a flying time. Black hole band. So we're going to need a lot. The client star omega is the main main EMC sync, so we're going to need to do a bit more working through of EMC there. So I've got one client star, I think. So we would need what? Four of these, so let's dump that in there. And make the next one, which is the, the dry. Teach it. One, two, three, four. It's just the four, I guess. There you go. These are one and a half million EMC each. So I can get the two. And that's it. So that will need to. Um, so that's how you empty the EMC in and then pull the EMC out. So I'm going to leave them in there for now. Because I need two more, which means I need more dark mana. I've got none in there. I've got none over here. But um, oh, I've got 33 over here. That's fine. We'll take that. I've got a few items to make though. Uh, let's see. Just before I continue, next quest in here that I have done is in the machinery one. It's this one here, the wind turbines. So I have four wind generators that I've made here. But the book does not want me to um, hand that in. I'm not sure if it just needs to be connected up somehow or whether I need to place them and break them to get them to change their um, their value at all or something like that but at the moment it doesn't want to know I got them all for an inventory, I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, so it's not going to detect it. So let's duck upstairs. Doink, and grab our book. Where is our special book? There it is. Doink. That one's complete. We'll claim its reward. Throw the book away. And we'll use these somewhere to generate some more power, I think. How are you kids going? Good. Haven't done anything? No, no, really. setting up arranged marriages. <sighs> Signs. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Never. Oh, what do I need for an atomic disassembler? Why can I not get a recipe for that? Let's see. I don't think I've got this available at the moment. So I'm going to work on that in between episodes. So what else can we do? What else can we do at the moment? What other tasks do we have? The calculator ones are 
pain in the backside. We have got the Evolving Dragons one. I do have enough Draconium now. I have 23 Draconium, which should do that first one. The next quest will be to make the Draconium tablet thing. One of them. And we get 10 Draconium ingots for that. I need 16 Draconium. So, we've got 10. Guess that's 6. Can I make toast? Oh, yes, I can. Alright. Uh, so, in here somewhere. The other 6 we needed. So, that's 16. I kind of want to wear this, but I kind of don't. Because I want it for the next tier. Okay, we got a diamond furnace as a reward. Diamond furnace? That's yeah. a great. Yeah, it's a diamond furnace. Well, you'd be top of society if this was a server. <laughs> Don't ask me what it I'd does. Much. Um, but I have a diamond diamond furnace. Apparently, it's better because it's from better furnaces. I don't know. Yoik. I don't know whether it's any good at anything. Anyway, uh, let's just open our loot here. What do we get? Right. Weapon case. Getting a new sword. An ice blade. Not that fantastic. Can go in there. They can go in there. What's next? What's next? What's next? Charm of Dislocation. Guys, blaze plowder, draconium dust, and an eye vendor. Yeah, let's do that. Charm of dislocation. One of them, and then that. Did that work? How much blaze powder do I have? Enough. Oh look, there we go. One charm of dislocation. This charm will allow you to set one waypoint to tele back, teleport back to at your own will. Do it, do it now. So I can say, this is always bound to there and I should be able to go, yoik. There we go. And because I've got the repair talisman, it repairs the uses, which is pretty cool. Let's fly over here. Yoik. Nice. 20 uses still remaining. That's excellent. And we get two as a reward, so we can um, perhaps make some other stuff. What have we got in here? Next is Draconic Cores. We need four of them. Okay, let's see, Draconic Core, one, two, three, four, there's our four, excellent, we're going to get a bunch of other stuff, and then again, really? <laughs> now, now I'm being rickrolled in chat. <laughs> kids are terrible. We win. Yes, we you win. Whoopity whoopity whoop. I should have a bunch of swords and that to hand in, which all seem to be early junk. Anyway, uh, next quest. Disenchanter. How do we make one of them? This one, a disenchanter. Ooh, I'm pretty close to need, having everything I need. 
I need two eyes of enders and an enchanted book. One, two. So all I need now is a enchanted book of some description. Having any of these chests over here? I think we got to have something somewhere from one of our many chests of junk. That'll do. All the loots from the dungeons. Hey! Can I take it? Yes. One disenchanter. Awesome. Cruising. Cruising through this round. Particle generator. There we go. This could be scary. Nah, not really. One, two, three, four, I think it wanted. I only wanted one. Oh, I get three as a reward. <laughs> oh well. They don't have EMC. Eh, what a waste. Next time I'll read the quest. What do we got? Can't speak. Draconic chest. These things are pretty cool. They're going to require two obsidian chests, which shouldn't be that hard to do. Which is going to require two diamond chests. So let's fall down the black hole for a moment. Two diamond chests, which is going to need two gold chests. Should need two iron chests. Hey, let's go for. Gold. Getting a little bit of lag around this area of the base now. With all those villages. Take a couple of them and... I don't know if we've got a... Uh, we need a furnace. We need a crafting table. And what? Four draconic ingots. Nice and quick. And yes, I'm probably wasting blocks of coal over there, but meh. Probably not a real big issue. One draconic chest. These things are pretty cool because they use power and they can um, smelt things and all double inside them, I believe. Last I checked. So if you hook them up to power, which if we got, yep, I can't open it. So it's ta it's taking power, and we can get ore. So let's dump a few things in here. Oh, perhaps my AE system's full. No, right, there we go. It went eventually. Let's just grab some yellow, right? Because I don't have that processing anywhere else. I should be able to go push this button. No, you're not smeltable. There we go. So it's going to smelt through them using a bit of power. Probably a lot of power, knowing my luck. I need a fish. You need a fish. Yes. Have you looked in the AE system? I'm about to. Fish. There's three cooked fish. I need no more fish. Well, you better make a fishing rod. And go fishing. Alright, let's hand that quest in. We're going to get a redstone energy cell. Next is a weather controller. Okay, again, probably not that hard. Gonna need some more... Three of these. There we go. Super fast. Weather controller, where are you? There. Awesome. Had everything else we needed. We get a chance cube. And we got the Wyvern cores already. Next would be the Dragonheart. So we haven't been to the end yet, so we can't do the Dragonheart quest. Um, so it will have to um, have to wait. Uh, not sure whether we've got. I think I'll want to set up auto crafting before I start tackling the. 
the armor here because that's going to be a pain. Here we go. But disenchanter, I don't know, does a disenchanter require power? Let's see. Oh. Costs something. Probably levels. No worries. My chest's full already. Everyone dropping all their stuff in. Well done. Uh, I can go in there and I can come out. Alright. We're getting pretty close to wrapping up. Let's see if we can just finish a few items here. I don't. We got, I got 33 dark matter. Let's check in our book. We've done a bunch of quests today. Actually, what was that? You've done two pet ones. Well done. Yep. On to my third. Down here's the mob That's grinder. That's why I need the fish. What does this require? Let's make the mob grinder. Let's make that now. Because that will come in very handy for killing withers. Then all we need is the um, the proper witherproof bars, which are around somewhere. I will need a furnace. Okay, do I have... I'm going to need one more diamond sword and we're good. Really? Oh, Manx finally decided to join us. Well, took ages for his game to learn. A bit of late than never, I guess. We've got a couple of minutes left of the episode, so well done for logging in at the end. Uh, mob grind is complete, so this will be something we'll need to work on in another episode. These wyvern uh, or wyvern, depending on how you pronounce it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Wyvern. Uh, materials here. We're going to need a diamond set and then we're going to need Ivan cores and I don't know, we may be able to. Anything is possible. Or oh, the lag in the AE system is terrible. Anyway, I'm going to get away from this bit for a second. Alright, so we'll do that in another episode. I thought, let's hand in these pets ones that Dragon's done. You've done a shield pet. Excellent. Yep. And a walking on lava pet, so the magma cube pet. Cool. That's a nifty little thing. So you're doing squid at the moment, are you? Yep. I have to fish to get the correct fish. What do Manx do? Die. Fell from a great height. And one day we'll need to start looking at bees. And Manx was doing a little bit in the uh, the magical seed stuff on the last episode, so perhaps he can start working towards earth seeds. Shouldn't be too hard for him. Uh, and turns out, even though it, I think when I first tried to do this um, with this unit here, when I started trying to do magical crops with it. Uh, it wasn't working properly, but it seems when you use the magical crops hoe, this actually does work. So pretty cool. Nice little find by Manx there, using the, the Accio hoe in here. Um, makes this, this work fine. So well done, bud. Anyway, I think we're going to need to wrap up now. So thank you all for watching another family episode. Apologies if it does, this does make it out late. It, it should hopefully get up in time. We did have a uh, an internet outage of ooh, a bit over 24 hours, uh, which all started from a, uh, a thunderstorm that came through um, to the point where we weren't even sure, and if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen the tweet go out. I'll, we weren't even sure if we could record. Um, it pretty much just wouldn't let us log in. Uh, as much as this is a locally hosted server, it still relies on the internet. You've got a sign inside the smeltery. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, it's wrapping up time. Thank you all for joining us. Please leave those comments in the section below. 
and I hope you come back and join us for the next episode. Say goodbye, kids. Bye. Bye. Is he going to type? No. Give him a second. <laughs> He's typing. There we go. He's written by. All right. Thanks again. See you later.